Blake, what were the key security challenges at Bell Canada that required you to take action? With any network, there's key security challenges. We need to make sure that our vendors are are accessing our network uh, properly. We need to make sure that our internal users are accessing our network properly. And authentication, proper authentication, is the is is the way to do that. And making sure that the corporate policies are being followed for for our corporation, as well as uh, just general security practices, I think is in general is the best uh, the best way to secure a network. So how did video logging play an important role in your security and what was it about the Nakina solution that was so important to Bell? Traditionally, users were coming in on Telnet and SSH sessions. Um, it's easy to log those. Uh, video logging is uh, critically important because we now have X Windows, we have Citrix, we have Java. These users are coming in and managing the network elements uh, via different, uh, different methods. Uh, video logging is key to that because in, tradi in a traditional environment, you're not going to really see uh, the whole picture, and Nakina's solution, uh, their video capture solution, uh, provides that uh, that option to really ensure that we can see exactly what everybody's doing. Many large organizations face serious challenges managing user security. How does the solution help Bell to optimize this process? Role-based access control is very important in any network. Uh, in fact, it's probably one of the key components to securing any network. Ensuring that uh, proper people are in proper groups, ensuring that proper uh, groups have access to proper systems, this is all key to, a, to security in general. Um, an Akina system uh, provides a single sign-on solution, really, where uh, you can put people into groups, and those people uh, go into those groups, and they have access to the servers that they require access to, and nothing more. This is key to uh, this is key to our network. Doug, what's different about Nakina's solution, and why is it important to maintain true network inventory? Service providers rely on an accurate inventory of what's in the network for their revenue streams. Over time, however, break fix activities, performance management in the network, and other manual activities cause what's really in the network to diverge from what the inventory system says is in the network. Akina Systems has the unique ability to continuously reconcile the inventory of resources that are really in the network with what the planning systems think should be in the network. The result of this is that flow-through provisioning rates increase dramatically because there are no resource collisions in the network and because the resources that are in the network are configured exactly correctly. The result is network integrity, which optimizes revenue for the service provider. Many service providers are frustrated by data inconsistencies hampering the automation of critical processes. How does your IDR system address this? The challenge with service provisioning is that the data that's in the network does not match the data in the planning systems. The best automated provisioning systems today tend to operate in a fire and forget mode. What that means is that when the network indicates a provisioning transaction has been successful, that result is assumed to be permanent. Unfortunately, break-fix cycles, network performance management, and other maintenance activities cause the network to diverge from the planning system over time. By bringing continuous network reconciliation capability to bear, Nakina is able to make sure that that data always matches what's in the planning systems. Nakina has the unique ability to add reconciliation capability at runtime, so the system doesn't need to go through expensive maintenance uh, or restarts in order to bring the capabilities of new devices, new software releases, or new resource configurations online. The result is that the service provider always has an accurate representation of what's really in the network in their inventory system. Sergio, what's the current best practice for auditing and updating network software configuration in next generation networks like LTE? In those types of networks, the network elements that provide those services are highly complex, uh, more so now than they were in the past. In fact, the network elements that are in those networks, uh, such as LTE or IMS, have huge numbers of network parameters that need to be inspected and correctly set. Those may be set correctly right at the beginning of service provisioning time. But over time, especially during maintenance windows, during upgrades, those parameters may become incorrectly set uh, simply by the operation staff themselves. 
Nikina can actually provide a gold standard auditing methodology that would be much better than today's common practice, which is simply stare and compare those parameters. It's critical for end users that there are fewer outages. And it's also becoming clear that to achieve that, telcos need centralized security management, automated equipment discovery and reconciliation, and optimized software configuration. Thank <laughs> you.